more than a quarter million COVID-19 cases have been reported in uh, U.S. children since March. That's a lot of children. State health officials reiterating young people can get COVID-19, and that's part of why they have set what they call a low bar for testing school-aged children. We want to prevent the introduction of disease into the school. We want to keep schools open. State health officials say they've seen letters from health care providers saying a child can return to school without a test because it's most likely cold symptoms. But those letters are problematic and not appropriate without testing, they say. It could be that some providers aren't aware of how mildly COVID-19 symptoms can present or are not aware of the return to school guidance. We also very directly hear questions of whether children with mild symptoms should have to undergo testing. And to that last point, Dr. Talbot stresses how this pandemic changes the norms. It may not be medically necessary, but it is necessary for public health and to continue to keep our schools open um, wherever possible. Dr. Talbot also addressed what she called battle fatigue when it comes to dealing with this virus. She said it's going to continue to go on, and it's impossible to imagine it being turned around with a vaccine anytime soon. In Manchester, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.